The scenario involves three patients with burns from an explosion. The medics treating them work in this hospital, a C-17 aircraft. It's a scenario that could happen anywhere in the Pacific, which is why this team is here to train. They're part of the JMAT, or Joint Medical Air Transport Team. Today, they're not focusing so much on medical training, but on caring for patients in an environment like this, with aircraft engines blaring loudly as they work. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Shock. We give them uh, a little bit more opportunity to understand those stressors of flight that are out there that can be multiple limitations for their patients. They may be fine once they're on the ground, but once we get into an, an, an altitude environment, it, uh, some things can go wrong. The students got to practice medical care on their mock patients while the C-17 was actually in flight. Feeling the, the, the sways and things like that, it definitely prepares me for being in a real life situation. I was impressed um, how similar it was to a real world mission, trying to talk to your team members in a noisy environment. Be flexible and, and troubleshoot as we went. It's excellent training for a real world mission. Training like this is especially crucial in the Pacific Theater, where these doctors will often fly to remote locations and deal with a wide variety of injuries. Uh, sometimes we have issues such as a tsunami or, or hurricanes out there that can, can affect those patients and, and they'll need some multiple care. The training truly is joint, bringing together students from the Army, Navy and Air Force, as well as students from other Pacific nations like Australia and Thailand. Tech Sergeant Michael Jackson, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Hawaii. That's two. 